So each class within Diablo 4 has a set of very own unique items. But did you know there are actual enemies that have increased drop chances of these specific unique items? Well that's what we check out today for the Druid. What uniques they have, which enemies have increased chances of dropping said items and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for these specific pieces. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So when it comes to farming specific dungeons to try and get those uniques to drop, any dungeon is fine. In fact, any enemy of that said specific type that has increased chances to drop across the world is fine. But if you can roll a nightmare dungeon with that magic find modifier on, this definitely ups your chances due to it, allowing the actual nightmare dungeon to drop more loot for you. Also guys, if you're looking for uniques for your character class, all other character class videos will be linked down below. Okay, so be aware, amulets and rings jewelry in this game doesn't have any increased drop chances from any specific monster type. So the Hunter Zenith at the moment doesn't have any increased drop odds from any specific monster type. Okay, so we're going to start with the Great Staff of the Crone. This one has increased drop chances from Fallen Enemies and Goatman Enemies. So Fallen Enemy Dungeons, I recommend you farming for this one. We have the Ancient's Lament, the Demon's Wake and the Conclave. The Demon's Wake is definitely my favourite of the three, but all three will offer plenty of those Fallen Enemies for you. Okay, so Goatman Dungeons, we have the Champion's Demise, the Mercy's Reach, the Shifter Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. These again guys are great great dungeons, if I had to pick one though it would definitely be the champion's demise in a team but do what you gotta do people. Okay so next up guys we have the Incitiable Fury, this one has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. So beast dungeons you definitely want to be farming, we have the blind burrows, alderwood, moorwood, alders cave and the haunted refuge. Spider dungeons we have the blind burrows, the Gurun canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. Theoretically guys, you'd only really want to be farming the Blind Burrows here if you can land a Nightmare version of this because it has both beasts and spiders. But any of the dungeons I have mentioned guys will give you increased drop chances for this item when killing specific beasts and spiders. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Mad Wolf's Glee. Again, beasts and spiders. Beast dungeons, blind burrows, old wood, more wood, Alders cave and haunted refuge. These you should definitely be farming if you want increased drop chances of this item. Spider dungeons, we have the blind burrows, the Gurun canals, the whispering pines and the champion's demise. Again, blind burrows is definitely the number one here, but do what you gotta do guys. You may get lucky with any of the others here. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Storm's Companion. This has increased drop chances from them drowned enemy types. Okay, so Haunted Refuge is a great dungeon, Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. All four of these dungeons have increased amounts of drowned enemies, so these you should definitely be looking for. Next up guys, we have the Tempest Roar. This has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibal enemy types. Okay, so cannibal dungeons, you have the Gulran Slums, the Earth Unwound, and the Carnal House. Cultist dungeons, we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair, and the Shadowed Plunge. Those are the ones I recommend you farming to try to get this Tempest Roar. Next up guys, we have the Visalis Prayer. This has increased drop chances again from cultists and cannibals. Again, cannibal dungeons with plenty of cultists in, Gulran Slums, the Earth Unwound, and the Carnal House. Uh, dungeons with plenty of cultists in, we have the Conclave, Serpent's Lair and the Shadowed Plunge. Six great dungeons there guys which definitely will increase your chances of getting this item to drop for you. Okay so lastly guys with the Waxing Gibus, I think that's pronounced Gibus, I'm not even sure. This has increased drop chances from Fallen and Goatman. So Fallen Dungeons, we have Demon's Wake, Conclave and Ancient's Lament. Demon's Wake's definitely my favourite there but all are great. And Goatman Dungeons, we have the Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, the Shift of Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. Here guys, Champion's Demise is definitely my best but any one of these four will offer you plenty of Goatman enemies. But there we have it guys for the Druid unique items and the best places to get them with increased odds. So do what you gotta do people. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.